What's up, everybody, and welcome to the latest edition of Falcus in Focus. I'm Scott Bear, Tori McElhaney, and the heat-seeking missile to my left is Troy, An- <laughs> Troy Anderson. Uh, He's had that nickname picked out for a minute. I have, yeah, and I was very <laughs> proud of it, too. Um, it was mostly after watching you catch that long punt uh, return the other day. I was like, oh, my gosh, oh, that yeah. dude was shot out of a cannon. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, to go over the man's whole resume would take the entire podcast but yeah trust me he won a lot of state titles at beaver beaverhead county did yep. i get that right <laughs> beaverhead county high school the pride of beaverhead county high school state titles in track in basketball in football but my favorite among all those things is that you were the valedictorian of Woo. your high school so the question in that is did you have to give a speech at graduation and what was it and what was it and was it good <laughs> um i don't know if it was good <laughs> i did have to give one um but I mean, I guess we only graduated. Maybe I shouldn't tell this, but I think I only graduated with like 88 kids or something. Okay. Still so number not, one out of 88. impressive. <laughs> I graduated with 90. Like, okay. I, I think it was anywhere from like 90 to 95. And I was in the top 10%. But I was not. But not number one. I was not number one, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Do you think the other 88 kids were like inspired by what you said? <laughs> No, <laughs> I, I don't think so. I think they were just trying to trying to get out of there, as, as was I. It, it, exactly. <laughs> He's like, all right, time it. It's going to be exactly five minutes. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, we actually have a bunch of questions about your childhood in Montana, growing up outside of, uh, just outside of Dillon. Yeah. Um, and essentially, we've done our research, <laughs> but we still have so many questions because... I want to know, uh, now Scott has told me this, your family lived in a home that was from the 1890s, is that correct? Um, I guess, yeah, like when I was early. Like when you were like younger, like and, the, okay. and then your family, like, we like, built a house. crazy, crazy yeah. old house. It wow. Was like, I don't know, man, it was the greatest hide-and-go-seek house you'll ever <laughs> see. Um, but yeah, then we, then we moved out of it, which is... To my, I guess it was kind of a bummer. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have yeah. anywhere to hide anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, like five levels high between you and your sister must have been pretty intense. Like those hide and seek games were. Oh yeah, you like super get friends long. over there, and it's like yeah. you may never get found. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> lost. That's the other side of it. Uh, so, what is Dylan Montana like? I come from San Diego. I'm a city slicker. Mm. Tori is not. I'm not. No, I'm actually my my hometown is Chickamauga, Georgia. We All had right. one red light. One red which light, which I feel like is probably similar to. Yeah, your it is. Record. We we have two. Wow, All right. two. Y'all <laughs> beat us. Oh but one gosh. of them one of them turns off at like 10 p.m. <laughs> and then just flashes. I feel like technically though, like because like Chickamauga city limits is so small, like there are other red lights like around us, obviously, but in the city, mm-hmm. it's one. It's yeah. one. Yeah. It's, it's a, yeah. I mean, kind of similar. It's a small town that I don't even know everybody. You go yeah. into the two grocery stores and <laughs> you stop and talk to everybody. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a super fun place to grow up and yeah, I mean, I, I love it there. Now your family um, owns a cattle ranch. Mm-hmm. About how many cattle are we talking? Um, I mean like seven hundred or wow. so. That is that, that is a great many like cows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's and I I was reading I I should shout it out an excellent feature story on you from the Bozeman Daily Chronicle. Mm. It was massive, and I think you were a sophomore in college, something like okay. that, and uh, just had a lot of great details. And it sounds like. It wasn't like your parents made you get up at 5 a.m. before school and then go to school and then come back. So when, when you were asked to, like, work on the ranch, if it was during the summer, on a weekend, like, what does that typically entail? I mean, it kind of depends on the time of year. Like, if it's True. in the summer, you're, you're either hang, so I would either cut the hay or rake or bale, um, or we'd go up to, like, our summer place and, and move our cattle to different different pastures and stuff. Um, or just like sorting cows and, you know, vaccinating kind of all the, all the super fun stuff, (laughs) super fun stuff. Some of it, some of it is fun, but some of it's a little bit monotonous and you're out in cold weather sometimes. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was an awesome upbringing and, you know, I appreciate my parents for everything that they've supported me and, and provided for, for my sister and I. So it was, it was great. So technically you are a cowboy. 
Yeah, can you can you ride a horse? Like, do you have a horse? Is that when you talk about moving cattle? Like, I think of like actual like cowboys on horses, like actually moving the cattle. Yeah, we so we do it a little bit more efficiently. We just have okay. four wheelers. Four wheelers. Oh, that makes that is way better. more sense. Yeah, that's way better. Yeah, you don't have to you don't have to saddle or feed a four wheeler. Just a, <laughs> a little gas, a little gas here and there, and yeah, a little bit quicker. I love that. But you do you have horses? Do y'all have No, horses? we we don't anymore. Uh, we used okay. we used to have some and my sister would rodeo, but I I think I didn't like like riding horses because she liked it. Oh, I see. Just, okay. That was, makes sense. Yeah, it was just the the younger brother thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, I also wanted to ask cuz you uh, I her name's Holly, right? Yeah. Your sister and she's a couple years older than you. What are some things that y'all would get into when y'all were younger? Because it seems like y'all have a good relationship now that y'all are older, but was it like that when y'all were younger too? Yeah, I mean, growing up out of town, it was like, all right, we'd get mad at each other, but once you you realize you're mad at each other, but you have no one else to hang out with because right. you, your friends are in town and you can't ride your bike 10 miles you know, right. Right? when you're 10 years old. So yeah, we, we hung out a lot and I mean, really close to this day, but... I don't know. I mean, riding bikes and just mm. playing on hay bales, and we had like we had cats around, like <laughs> the farm, like old barn cats, yeah. and stuff, cats like, everywhere, herding cats. Like it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I love that. Now, um, getting into kind of like what um, I, I don't know, like what are some of your like favorite memories of of kind of growing up in I don't know in this environment of because it's not an it's not an environment that I think a lot of people grow up in in terms of like a living on a working farm and like living or ranch or I don't know exactly what y'all call it but (laughs) like living and seeing your parents kind of operating this really big operation what was that kind of like as you were growing up man I don't know I guess around Dylan that's kind of the the norm right Right, so I I was like oh it's cool like be outside doing something different every day Mm -hmm. It's not like you're you're sitting at a desk punching in numbers and doing you know a monotonous task every day mm-hmm. of the year. Um, there's seasons and it changes, uh, which I think is, I mean, I know that's why my parents like it, my dad and I, I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just kind of you never know what you're gonna wake up and do, yeah. and that's kind of similar to football. It's like you never know who you're gonna play and what kind of style they're gonna gonna bring or what plays they're gonna run that day. Um, yeah, and I mean it was it was awesome just kind of being outdoors and being with animals and doing kind of challenging fun stuff nice i have one more question on this topic um i read that your dad said that you're I'm, i might even mispronounce this that you're good driving a swather oh that yeah swather. i had to look it up on the internet because i wasn't quite <laughs> sure and it is everybody do it it's like a massive i don't know how you could be good driving that thing first of all can you explain to yeah i know because i definitely don't know what a swather what is. it is and is it hard to drive um Okay, I'll get to it if it's hard. To, so we, um, <laughs> it just like cuts the hay. So we have like, oh, okay. we like have alfalfa and you'll cut mm-hmm. it and then you let it dry and rake it and then you get like the big round bales. Mm-hmm. So I just am like the, the first process is cutting it with mm-hmm. the swather. Is the swather the one where it like has the wings? Um, or am I thinking of something else? It's just like a big long thing with a bunch of blades. Yeah, it's just like it cuts the flames. Uh, it just like okay, cuts okay. it and, I gotcha. and, and puts it down. Um, and as to driving it. <laughs> yeah. So we used to have one that you'd actually have to drive, but technology is awesome. <laughs> True. And they have these things called satellites that now you just push a couple buttons and then it drives itself. Get out wow. of town. It's like going from the horse to the ATV. Like there's just a I natural mean, evolution of things, right? Technology, yeah. man. It, exactly. it really helps us all out. Yeah, Truly it's hard, it hard to mess it up when, when you're not actually doing it. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. But I'll take the credit if yeah. you can give it. Wherever it's you like, thanks, it. Dad. Appreciate it. Um, in addition to your very long athletic resume, your football resume includes playing. Let's see if I can get them all right. Running back, quarterback, linebacker, linebacker. Mm-hmm. Am I missing? Question: any? Is there a position that you haven't played that you wanted to? Um, I don't think I want to play offensive line or or, or, or corner. So <laughs> right, it's really tough. Both are really. You tough. might be fast enough for it there, state champ. Uh, but I don't know. <laughs> I, think I think I took a snap at every other position though in college. Wow. I I read one of the assistant coaches there said his true love is playing linebacker. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I always wanted to, I always wanted to play defense, and it was kind of play offense out of necessity. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, defense and playing linebackers is more fun, in my opinion. Hmm. Interesting. Also, another quote that we found, um, well, I, it was interesting because you said, quote, that you weren't good enough to play in college. Like, that was something that we, we found, uh, like, online. And it's like, that is so funny to kind of, when you're younger, for you to say that and now to be where you are now. Do you Did you really feel that way when you were going I, into college? I don't even, I don't think no (laughs) so i don't remember saying it um yeah i don't i don't know i guess where that but (laughs) it's like you always have Mm -hmm. like some self-doubt when you're going into a new situation but it was like you're confident you can work through it and in your abilities just and, and what's been really cool so we we get to interact with fans a lot mm-hmm. and the amount of emails social media interaction from people from montana is freaking overwhelming yeah it's what, really impressive it is what's the experience kind of like to know that like you've got a whole montana state slash the state of montana fan base like following you pulling for you mm-hmm. they, they seem very supportive of everything that you're doing yeah i mean it's it's awesome i think i've said it like montana has a million people <laughs> yeah. and that i mean it's not that many for the size <laughs> of this, this fourth biggest state i mean only has a million people um, so you kind of know everybody mm-hmm. like you've, you've met them or you met somebody that knows somebody. Um, yeah. And it's, it's been awesome to kind of, to feel that support and have people reach out. Uh, I mean, it means a lot. I think, you know, Montana supports other Montanans mm-hmm. when it's like when you see a, like when a growing up, mm-hmm. if we saw something about Montana on like the national news, we thought it was awesome. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> it didn't matter if it was good or yeah, bad. Yeah. It's like, yeah, wow, it's we're like, on the news. <laughs> yeah, like oh, we made it. But uh, <laughs> so it's it's been it's been a lot of fun so far. That's so great. I, it was funny too because I was talking to so when we were up in Seattle, the um, there was a group of about I think seventy five girls from Montana high schools mm-hmm. that came out to Seattle and they play flag football and. It was funny because I can't remember who I was talking to. I think it was one of their coaches. When you walked up and you were kind of talking to some of the girls, they were like, it's like the Beatles. They're like, they all know him. They all think he's really cool. And I was like, that's so sweet. But it really did kind of feel that way on that day. Did it feel that way for you? Was it kind of like, hey, guys? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. It was, you didn't know what to say. You're like, hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> like, it, it was cool, though. It was, it was yeah. a cool event that they, I mean, that they got, they got started up there. Mm-hmm. Well, so, go ahead. No, you go. Now that you live out here, th- th- this is your first time living out of state. Kind yep. of like, what's the experience like getting to know Atlanta and getting to mm-hmm. know Atlanta fans who have been really supportive of you as well? Yeah, I mean, it's been great. Obviously, I mean, the games are fun and we play in an incredible stadium. Um, yeah, I mean, it gets it gets loud and raucous in there. And it's, I mean, I mean, feel the support for sure. Um, hopefully we can continue to win games and, and win over even more people. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been awesome. It was interesting because I feel like I see your family at a lot of events that the Falcons are doing, whether that be when I believe they were at, they came to training camp, they come to a lot of games. Is that like, I don't know, do they fly in like all the time, just like direct flight to Atlanta (laughs) always? So, I mean, they've made it to, I mean, they made it to the first three games Mm -hmm. and then they were at the San Francisco game. Um, Yeah, I mean, which not a short trip right by yeah. any means i think there's there's one direct flight from montana <laughs> to atlanta so yeah i mean it, it's been awesome to be able to see them and um just kind of share this experience with them mm-hmm. uh going back to I, i've seen a video of this and i need to know if this is like the re- how it really was that night but the night that you were drafted there's a video and it it looks like the the moment that you were drafted and it's like you and your family are just kind of like standing there and like a lot of and it's like you can just see the like happiness and joy on y'all's faces but it it's funny because the juxtaposition of that is like so many people have these big old parties and it's loud and there are so many people but for you guys it really felt like it was a very like important like family moment is that kind of how it was that night or or was this kind of just a video that i saw i mean yeah it was kind of just a cool moment that it's like i don't know i'm not a super like flashy person mm-hmm. and I, I had got the call a few minutes before so like we had already mm-hmm. hugged and stuff like people were talking like they're like telling my mom like you didn't even give him a hug or anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I, did. I, I was like yeah, no, I mo- did. no mom we're good <laughs> <laughs> so but yeah I mean it was a it was a cool moment just to kind of share with close family and friends mm-hmm. 
I think Frank Bush, when I think he was talking oh, to Tori, yeah. right? Yeah, he told me he was like, when he came to your pro day, um, he was like, it was something where I, I felt his speed. He was talking about like your overall speed as a player. And I thought that was such a interesting quote. When you, do you remember like your pro day and, and meeting Frank Bush and, and kind of what your initial thoughts were of, hey, this is a team that's kind of interested in me. Maybe this is something that could work out. Yeah, I mean, I I got to talk with with him at the pro day, mm-hmm. um, and then it was just like, all right, try not to mess this up. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something Frank Bush would say. <laughs> Don't mess it up, bro. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it was it was fun though, um, to kind of connect with him, and he ran some of the drills, and mm-hmm. so yeah, I just tried to do my best, and <laughs> apparently I did all right out. for him. <laughs> Worked out. And now it's time for the rapid fire segment coming yes. up at the end of every podcast. Everybody gets the same questions. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's uh, five in five. a row here. Yeah. Okay. And are we, yeah. Yeah. Are we gonna start. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no He's choice. Like, Shoot, yeah. Like, I guess come so. on, man. That's good. Okay. Uh, uh, first question. Um, your favorite play of your career. Favorite. Oh man. Mm-hmm. Um. NFL it, it any any okay. anyone any football it could be it could be your NFL career or it could be at any point in time in your football playing days. I know I just uh, made there have been the a lot of a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can't even can't even think. Um, I don't know maybe I had like a fourth and one stop my senior year in college mm-hmm. in like our semifinal game which was I guess the first one that kind of came to my mind. Mm-hmm. Like it. And then your, I, I guess I'll switch it up, like your uh, short NFL career up to this point, since you are just still in your first year, but. Yeah. Uh, I'd say the blocked punt. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 oh, I yeah. feel like there was only one Yeah, answer. there's yeah. only yeah. one answer <laughs> the here. The blocked yeah. punt was yeah. Pretty, yeah. Sweet. pretty sweet. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Came in clean and quick. Um, what is a TV show that you are binging mm. right now? Um, Man, I always watch like, Big Bang Theory. Yeah. It's it's pretty good. <laughs> um, but then I guess the, the new Game of Thrones. Okay. Like the, the, the House, House of Dragon, Dragon yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. finished it last night. Oh, my gosh. I'm I won't spoil anything for anyone. Yeah, no right, spoilers. yeah, don't seen spoil it. it. But, oh, man, um, it's quite something. Question for you. I'm a big Yellowstone fan. It, do you get you that a lot? You had to know this was coming it, eventually. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> do, do you get that a lot? Like, people being like, is this actually how Montana is? Like oh, the I Duttons? get it all the time. <laughs> all the time? I know. <laughs> I know. I was actually, I think, in the Mall of Georgia, and I saw, like, Yellowstone Ranch shirts. It's like, uh, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why are we selling these in Georgia? But I uh, mean, I will buy one. <laughs> <laughs> so do people from Montana like that show or like kind of closet, don't really like it very much? Uh, it kind of depends. <sighs> it's a little It's out very, there. very, like it's it's good TV. Oh, okay. it's fantastic TV. <laughs> like great yeah. entertainment, yeah. but nothing like what goes right. on. Well, I think that's the thing. I is think like, that's an important thing right. to say in this yeah. platform. Well, it's yeah. like, you know, everybody talks about The Crown like how it's you know it's portraying the royal family and it's like a dram a, a dramatized what's the word dramatized 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 version of like a certain lifestyle and it's yeah. like i feel like yellowstone's pretty like yeah. it's very drama oriented <laughs> i feel like families aren't just out there like pew, pew. i mean there was a yeah. point in season two where they let a bunch of cattle into like a bar of their rival like that probably doesn't happen i would assume yeah, probably not. Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, you, you never know. Some of the, some of the small towns, you, there's some crazy stuff that goes on. But um, uh, next question: Your favorite just meal in general, whether it's a home cooked meal or like at a restaurant. Um, I mean, grew up on a cattle ranch. I'm gonna go with the steak. <laughs> right, I feel like you have to. Right? <laughs> yeah. Scott told me I wasn't allowed to ask like what part of the cow you like to eat after you kill them. <laughs> you don't have to answer I mean, it. All right. It's probably the filet. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see. Uh, the, the falcon that you hang out with the most. Um, another rookie linebacker, Nate Lamon. I told you. Okay, so we – it's funny because we ask that question to everybody, and it's like we we, we try and like – say who we think it's going to be. And I was like, I'm pretty sure he's going to say Nate Landman. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Cause, cause Richie was definitely going to say Darren. And yeah. Jalen. AK was definitely going to say Derek Tangelo. No doubt about it. <laughs> yeah. we were like, I, I bet you, I bet you was Nate. Oh yeah. And the now, last one. Yeah. Now for the last one, um, your biggest pet peeve as a person, oh. <laughs> oh, man, I feel like I, I know I have some, I just 
can't even like, right it's one of those things it it's is, like, oh it man really what, tough, what, yeah. what do i not like <laughs> um, the, so we had avery williams on not too long ago he was the episode before you and he had the weirdest one he was talking about um how he doesn't like when people say salmon like in, salmon. instead yeah, of yeah, salmon. that's actually a pretty good one <laughs> i know we were like, like mispronounced that words yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't know like, yeah i mean Poor Grant. I don't even know. Right. Well, yeah. we're going to come back to him. We're going to have like a whole story about this. Like we're going to find it out. We're gonna right. Tweet it out. <laughs> okay. We're going to yeah. give Troy some time to think I'll about it. Yeah. <laughs> right? I'll let you know. And we're definitely going to figure this thing out. Well, Troy, thank you so much for taking the time. Mm. Thank you everybody for downloading and listening. Please subscribe, rate, and review to the Falcons Podcast Network. Mm-hmm. And we will talk to you again next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>